Hey, welcome back, Talents Cove. This is a What's Sold video for Wednesday, February 24th. I always lose track of my days here lately. That's what happens when you don't have a 9 to 5 job. Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> We're going to have to pop them up on the screen for you guys. We can't show you this time. We have uh, an auction today. Today's actually Thursday morning. Um, and uh, I got to go straight there after Jen goes to work. So I had to pack them up last night. Uh, first one up is a Sears Wayfarer. Um, it's basically a shortwave radio. It did not work. Um, I got this out of one of the auctions. I do not remember which one. Um, it's $25 plus shipping. I think I might have had a buck or two in them. I know I didn't pay much for them because nobody wanted them. They were just, oh, you know what? They came from stoners. I just remember where they got them from. Um, I might have had a buck or two in them. So I'll make about 20 bucks on that one. Next up is uh, one of the water picks that you saw out of the liquidation.com palette. Um, that one was released yesterday, I think. Uh, 118 plus shipping. Um, I thought shipping was actually going to be probably about 8 or 10 bucks on that. I was apparently wrong on that one. It cost me like four, $13 uh, UPS. That's because I went to California. So we'll make about, I figured about 90, 95 bucks actual profit off of that one. That's good. Yeah, it's not too bad. Um, next up is, it's called a Grunding Portable. It's one of those emergency radios. You can hand crank it and it'll work. It's got a light on it and a radio and I think that's, that's about it. But I had to sell it uh, with a notation that the uh, there's a battery that stores charge. It won't hold, won't hold a charge anymore. That one's $25 uh, plus shipping. So we should make a about $17 on that one. That's the same deal. I'm pretty sure I got that out of Stoners as well for a buck or two. Um, there's one that's not paid for yet. So we'll talk about that one the next day. Um, then there's a gristmill magazine. Do you guys have seen me sell these before? Uh, basically it's an antique tool catalog. It talks about values and how they're made and a bunch of other stuff. There was 13 of them um, from 2011 to 2014. Guys actually still collect these things. $18 plus shipping. Uh, that went out media mail. Um, I have pennies into this one because I got stacks and stacks of those things. I'll make about uh, 13 bucks on that one. Uh, there's one more that I'm waiting on a guy. I sold a McDonald's set of Raggedy Ann and Andy's. And as I was pulling it, the stupid bag ripped. I mean, like ripped open completely. The whole top's gone. So I messaged the guy. I'm like, dude, do you still want this? Let me know. I shot him two messages last night. I haven't heard from him yet, so it'll just sit there until I hear from him. If I don't hear from him, I'm just going to cancel it because I'm not going to send it and have to eat the shipping on it, especially because it's going to California. And for a $13 sale, I'll just soon cancel it. Um, next up is uh, the Fraggle Rock set. It's a set of four, and it had two of the boxes. Um, it's one of Jen and I's favorite ones that we have because <laughs> we like Fraggle Rock. We grew up with that as kids. And our son had no clue what we were talking yeah, about. Yeah, not a clue. He was like, what is that? He had to YouTube it. <laughs> um, $23 plus shipping. So we'll make about 19 bucks on that one. Again, I have pennies in that. That's that huge haul. Uh, next is a Philips Norelco 7000 series shaver. That was supposed to be a brand new one, but Jen cut the seal on it. I just disclosed it. I'm like, look, I said, <laughs> it's in our YouTube video. Here's the evidence. That sold for $38 free shipping, shipped out for like $8. Uh, so we'll make about, it's a 40% margin, so my brain doesn't want to work. So I'm going to say about $14 is actual profit on that. Um, next one up, I got a, I got a pack up that's going to have to be, get packed up the Friday. It's going to take me entirely too long or I'll pack it up tonight. Um, it's this guy here. It's the Royal Classic Commercial 9000 Vacuum. I sell vacuums occasionally. Um, the only time I sell them is when I can make really good money on them. I bought this thing, I think, for five bucks. Um, it was at an auction that wasn't filmed, and it sold for $89. And I have no idea why, but this guy is paying $99 shipping. Where's it going? Texas. Wow. Yeah. And we're in PA. Yeah, I don't get why that's so much. So pretty sure I'm going to make some money off the shipping, and I'll probably refund some of it to him. Um, cause I know I can ship this thing out for like no more than 40 bucks, 50 max. Um, and it's just not even that heavy. It's a lightweight industrial vacuum. I've picked, I can pick it up with one hand and throw it around. It's that light. 
So I don't know why I charge him so much. I'm guessing because of dimensions or he must be way, way out in the boonies in Texas. So I don't know. All right, guys. Heart. Yeah, I guess. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, there's two other ones that got people got to pay for or one other one that's got to be paid for. It's a really nice sell, so, but we'll show that to you on the next video. And thanks for joining us, guys. We'll see you next time. Hey, welcome back to Talents Cove. It is what's sold video for Thursday, the 25th. And we have six items going out today. First one is this guy here. Um, it's a Montgomery Ward. It's basically a ham radio with a, everything else built into it. Um, I don't know a lot about them, but the one thing I do know is sold for $80 plus shipping. Pretty good money. I got this out of the stoner's lot. A um, couple dollars in it, not much. So I'll make about 70 bucks on that. Uh, next up is this guy. This came out of our last liquidation.com pallet. Uh, $13 free shipping. So I'll make about... I got to do the math. This is not my normal markup. So it's like 40%. So it's about $3.54. Uh, this guy here, picked this up at the last stoner's auction. Uh, this, I picked this up for five bucks. Got $65 plus shipping for it. So we'll make about $50, $52 on it roughly. And then My Little Pony, Shenanigans. 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 That's what its name is? That's what its actual name is, yeah. Oh my goodness, we should have kept that one. <laughs> uh, Nine dollars. favorite word. 90 cents. Uh, plus shipping. I can't imagine I have much in it. We neither of us even remember getting that thing, <laughs> uh, so we'll assume we'll make about seven fifty on it. Uh, this one here, Jen was going to end up trying to keep this out of the last liquidation pallet because she thought she needed these for hers. She doesn't. Uh, not a ton of money. They're eleven dollars ninety cents, free shipping. So we'll make a couple dollars on that. Not a ton. And then this guy, which I picked up at the one on-site auction and I, as i was listing it i'm like there's something weird about this it's backwards and it's upside down <laughs> so that's probably worth even more then so yeah normally these things only sell for like 10 to 15 dollars free shipping um, i got 28 dollars plus shipping for it and you could disclose that it was upside down yeah i disclosed it was upside down i made sure and everything because like the bumper for the trail and everything back there you can see it i'm like well, this is a, a this is a factory error Somebody will probably want it and pay more money. Sure enough, I literally I listed it yesterday, and it sold overnight sometime. So I'm like, hey, cool, because I don't have that much in that thing. I only have like maybe a buck in it. Worked out for me, yay! <laughs> <laughs> uh, that's it, guys. Thanks for joining us, and we'll see you on the next one. Hey, welcome back, Towns Cove. It's a what sold video for I guess it would be Friday and Saturday, which would be the 27th, 26th, and 27th. Sorry. Uh, first up is this guy here. It's an old vintage Whitman Family Affairs coloring book. Uh, sold for $10 plus shipping. Uh, I probably have pennies in this. Came out of a lot. Next up is this guy. I know this came out of a, a lot. Um, it's a, basically a vintage Japanese New Orleans tabby cat. Um, I didn't even, wasn't even going to look it up until Jen said to look it up. $10 plus shipping, uh, so we'll make about 7 bucks on that. Where's my cut? Uh, it's in the mail. Okay. Next up is this guy. It's a vintage trophy duck pin, 4.5 inch, 3.5 pound ball. Picked it up at a yard sale over the summertime, uh, this past year. It was $18 plus shipping. I do not remember what I have in that. I'm going to have to assume I paid less than 5 bucks for it. Um, so I'll make about 10 on it. Then there's these guys. It's a bunch of old Argus slides. And the slides are filled too. That's seven magazines with over 150 um, slides in it. And I have a bunch of extra ones I found laying around. I'm just going to ship them with it. That's $26 uh, plus shipping. I got those out of a lot. that I may have a buck in all of those. So we'll make about 20 bucks on that one. Uh, this is the second water pick out of the liquidation.com palette that we had that sold for 118 plus shipping this one again is going to california um, so i'll make about 95 dollars on that and there's this guy it's an old butter cutter presto one butter cutter yep back when they used to be you know rectangles 
nine dollars yeah nine dollars plus shipping yeah most people don't use that kind of butter um that came out of an enron i have pennies <clears throat> into that as well so i'll make about seven bucks on that uh next one i'm gonna have to pop up it's big it's still out in the shed you guys have seen it seen it though it's the wave master 9000 pump uh that sold for 175 dollars plus shipping uh, so i think i had ten dollars in that so i'll make about 150 dollars after fees this came out of the liquidation.com palette as well. Uh, it's basically dog collar batteries. Uh, $12 free shipping, not a ton of money. Uh, so I'll make a couple bucks on those. This one is an old liquidation.com palette that we had. Uh, this was $12 free shipping. This will ship out fairly cheap. Um, so I assume I'll make about $6 on it? this one. It's a swimsuit. Mm. It's just the top. I even says top only. So hopefully they paid attention to that another liquidation.com one this is twelve dollars free shipping as well you were supposed to save up for when we get our puppy yeah uh, <laughs> it's a small it's definitely a girl phone obviously uh, i'll make a few dollars on that not a ton and then a pair of earrings these are vintage trafari um clip-ons fourteen dollars free shipping uh, these came out of a goodwill palette I think I got make about ten bucks on them, nine bucks in that range. It's a John Wayne plate. Got this out of an auction. I don't have much in it. That was twenty-two dollars free shipping. These things usually cost me about six bucks to ship out, so I'll make about uh, fifteen bucks on that. Last one I'm gonna have to pop up here. It's basically an old BSA Boy Scouts of America long sleeve shirt. $16 plus shipping. I got that out of an end run at Stoner's, I believe. So I don't probably don't really have that much in it. I'll make about 12, 13 bucks on it. So it's been a pretty good weekend. Um, Friday was only like two items. That's why everything's all kind of grouped together. Most of it came from Saturday. Um, it's currently Sunday around lunchtime. The Boy Scout one kind of trickled in, so I just threw it in on this one. Um, but not too bad. I think profit-wise this weekend, if I included Thursday, might almost be a $1,000 weekend. It was a pretty pretty good weekend for sure. And then, then the Sunday is going to be its own day. So it's great. I'm doing well. We're happy you're here. Please subscribe. We'll see you on the next one, guys.